Hi, it's Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today I'm going to go through the procedure required to change the keyboard on a Dell Latitude 5580 model laptop. So if you need to change your keyboard, whether it's got a bad key, you dropped a pop on it or whatever, we'll show you how to do it. You need a couple of tools, a Phillips screwdriver and some kind of a flat you can use a regular screwdriver. We use a little pry bar because you're going to unsnap a few things. To start with, well, that's the first thing we're going to do. There's a couple spots on the top of the keyboard that you put your pry tool in and pop off the retainer. Retainer um, that is snapped on top of the keyboard. That exposes six screws that you need to remove to take the keyboard off. So you're going to unscrew these six screws. That'll loosen the keyboard, and then we're going to turn the laptop over to, un to disconnect the electrical connector. So the first thing you're going to do is take these six screws out. Now turn your laptop over. We're going to take the bottom off. We have to disconnect the electrical connector from the motherboard and it's located the connection is under the battery so we got to get into the bottom side of the laptop remove these screws and then using your pry tool which could be a knife or a screwdriver insert it about right there and it'll you can pry up the plastic and it's just press fit in there there you go pops right off now we want to get under the battery, so we got to take the battery out. And the first thing to do is disconnect the cable that connects the battery to the motherboard. Just pull up on it, and there you go. That's disconnected. And there's typically one screw on the battery. We see we're taking that off on the far end. Now the battery will pop out, and that exposes the electrical connectors for the keyboard. There's four of them. Number three, number four. You just pop up the little lever that's keeping the zero insertion force or ZIF connector in there. Pull those out. Now you have it electrically disconnected and we can turn the laptop over and pull up on the keyboard and the little circuit board comes right up from the bottom. Now you can replace the uh, bad keyboard with a new one. So to do that, Kind of fish the connector down through the hole where you just took the old one out of. And then uh, locate the tabs at the top of the keyboard. They'll, they'll go into four little grooves across the top. Get those kind of snugged into place. There's tabs along the side too. That helps you locate it before you put these screws in. So once you've got the keyboard snapped into place. Now we're going to take those six screws that we took off earlier and fasten them down to hold the keyboard in place. Now you could have stopped at this point and tested that keyboard instead of putting these screws in. Um, that's what we would typically do, but we're trying to show you the mechanics of how you take it out and put the new one in. But if you were doing this in real life, you might want to not do these screws at this point and um, plug it in and see if the keyboard works. Okay, now you put the retainer back on. Just press fits in, run your finger around the sides, down the end like we're doing there, and then down in between each row of keys and you'll feel it snap. Just press fit, snaps into place. That's all there is to it. Now we're going to reassemble that electrical connector. So you just insert them into the ZIF socket hole. There's a line there that'll line up and you pull the connecting arm down over it. That's all it is. It's a no tool required. Do it all with your fingers. Snaps right in. Slide it in the hole and flip the handle down. Now you've got the circuit board hooked back up. We're going to put the battery back in. The battery cable connector then plugs into the motherboard, just pushes right on. And that one screw that held the battery. Now we're going to take the bottom cover. It kind of snaps into place before we 
replace all the screws. And that's the process. Again, you could have hooked that electrically, hooked the keyboard back up and not put the battery or the covers on and turn the laptop on and see if the keyboard works if you wanted to test it. That way, if you got all done and it didn't work, you didn't have to take everything all apart again. But we wanted you to see the mechanics of how this works. That's it. Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you again for watching this. Have a good day and good luck with your project.